We're now going to look at adding boxing to our road design. In the design plan view, just turn off the model tin design and open up your MTF file for road number one. Click on the edit data in the recall panel and pick and select any, MDF, any string or section. Under boxing, select the file and go into your user library and find the file called road1.bf and click on OK. We need to set up the boxing we need, need to set up our chainage ranges for our boxing to do this we go into boxing left side if we just zoom in at the start of our job here you'll notice that there's two cross sections very close together and on the left side we're going to start our boxing from this first cross section so we left click then right click inside the panel we then get this rubber band line and we pick on our first cross section and accept it and the boxing definition we're going to use will be left curbing and we'll explain these definitions later on for the moment it'll make it easier if we actually do the boxing and then we can see them on the screen to make the explanation. I'll just insert a few lines below that and we're going to take the left curbing all the way down until we reach the intersection and then at the intersection we're going to change our boxing so we left click right click and select on the cross section at the start of the intersection and accept it select our left curbing intersection boxing definition and then we'll change back to our left curbing on the other side of the intersection which is this point here change back to left curbing and we'll do that all the way to the end so left click right click and we go all the way to the end and accept it so this is our first layer of boxing and basically all it's going to be is the curb so we can so we don't have to select our chainage ranges again on the left side we can highlight all of them right click and copy then go into layer number two, add in three extra lines, select the first one, right click and paste. Now our changing drains are all going to be the correct but we just need to change our boxing definition. So our first one is going to be left subbase, second one will be left subbase intersection and the last one will be changing back to left subbase. We can do the same for layer 3, insert three lines, right click and paste and then change our boxing definition to subgrade, subgrade intersection and back to subgrade. And that's the left side complete so we can click on OK there and open up our right side boxing. Now the right side is slightly different in that there is no intersection for the right side so the road is complete so we just need our definition from the start to the finish. So we'll zoom in here at the start left click, right click, select our first cross section accept it, select our boxing definition which will be right no curbing. Now the reason why we have the no curbing is so that layer 2 will always be sub base and layer 3 will always be subgrade. so this right no curbing is actually got no boxing in it at all and we're, this one's going to go all the way to the end once again we copy that to layer 2 and we change our definition to sub base and we copy it to layer 3 and we change our definition to subgrade and click on OK. We can now click, click recalc in our MTF panel 
and that'll recalc our road design and you'll notice that we now have subgrade boxing volumes as well and you'll also notice that the output window is uh, flashing and if we open that up I'll just pin it open you'll see that we have an error drop point B OK so the back of curb left not found at this change range the reason for those errors if we just zoom in on the intersection here you can see that when I pick on the cross section created at the intersection here it doesn't go all the way out to our interface and so there's a slight rounding error if I have a look at this one it's 723.485 now that's been rounded up and if I look at the one behind it it's got the same chainage but it's about 0.1 of a millimetre behind it so I probably should have selected that cross section rather than the cross section that only goes as far as the lip of curve if we go into our boxing on the left side and you'll see where we have 723.4847 if we now change that to 46 just drop it down a little bit and we do that for each of our layers click on OK and we'll just clear the output window and click recalc and it's now recalculated our design and this time you'll see we have no error messages in our output window